Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me Alana, welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, it is me Alana. For this video, I'm here to do my April wrap up for you all. I read four books in April uh, and DNF'd one. <laughs> so that's okay. <laughs> I'm just glad to be reading right now. Hopefully May will be better because I don't have school and because of all the things happening in the world right now, work is very limited for me, so hopefully I will actually take advantage of that and use my free time to read. But we shall see if I'll actually do that. So, uh, I did take part in the Owls Readathon last month, and I passed. So that means, I guess whenever the newts come around, I can go ahead and take those, and then, I don't know what happens next, but I guess something will happen. <laughs> Who knows? Kind of exciting. I'm glad I passed. There were only three challenges, but that's okay. So I'll start with my DNF, just because I want to get that out of the way. So the book I DNF'd was Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron. So I feel so bad having to DNF this. But I just, where I am with my reading right now, I just do not think that was the book for me to pick up. I'm definitely going to pick it back up again, uh, maybe this summer. But just where I'm at in my slump, like I just need st something to spark my reading. <laughs> and that just wasn't the book for me because the way it started off, it was just really slow. And I started with the ebook because I had an e-arc of it. And then I switched over to the audiobook and even just reading the audiobook was just like so slow for me and I just could not handle it. So I decided to just put it to the side for now and I'm again I'm gonna pick it back up again later on when my reading isn't a struggle <laughs> and hopefully I can like it. But the books I did finish for the owls were Raven the graphic novel by Cami Dar Garcia and Gabriel Piccolo. I read this for Divination, which is to randomly pick for my TBR, and this was the book that was picked. And I really enjoyed this. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. I loved the artwork and just the, the origin story in general. And uh, I've, I really enjoyed Gabriel Piccolo's artwork. I follow him on Instagram. So uh, I was really excited to pick this up anyways, and I knew I was going to love it. And I'm really excited to pick up the next installment, which is Beast Boy. I'm like really, really hoping they keep doing all of the installments. So they do like Cyborg and Robin and Starfire, because honestly, Starfire is my favorite. So I really would love to at least get to hers if they could. But I still am excited for Beast Boy. I'm only really familiar with the series because of the show. So I liked how there were certain aspects that you didn't get to see that weren't in the show. And so um, I like that they're starting from the very beginning and so definitely recommend this if you're looking for like a good graphic novel with some good art and stuff and good stories. Alright, the next book I finished was uh, Witch Volume 1, which covered the prompt of History of Magic, which was a book with witches or wizards, and this fits. This also fit the challenge of astronomy, which was to read a majority of a book at night. <laughs> and this one I did read majority at night so this fit that challenge too so i officially finished my house but i gave this a five out of star five stars as well i really enjoyed it there were some differences between this and the tv show but i didn't mind them it was actually very interesting to see how different the tv show was compared to this i think i may have liked the way this story went a little bit more but i'm also like nervous because certain things happened and i was like okay but so if this happened like obviously 
different from the TV show, how are they going to get to that point that happened in the TV show? So I'm kind of intrigued to read more and see what happens next. All right, and the next book I read, it was technically a book I was going to read this month for the Asian Readathon, but then I was at work and I really needed an audiobook and I had already started this so I figured I would just finish it because I needed a short one anyways and so for that I finished uh Destroy Me by Tahara Mafi so this is the novella th that happens between the first and the second book and then once I finish with the second book I'll move on to Fracture Me because it takes place between the second and third book but I did finish Destroy Me uh <laughs> I had so many thoughts I was texting Teresa the whole time like talking shit about Warner and honestly at the same time being thoroughly confused about what is happening because okay when I started Shatter Me I was like Warner's not it, Adam's not it, Warner's crazy, Adam is too good to be true, I don't trust any of them fools and I still don't trust them. <laughs> After reading this I'm like Warner is still crazy. I don't understand <laughs> because in the book he like obviously talks about his feelings and like Juliet and I'm just like how did you get this intense so fast like I don't understand I don't know but then there were sweet moments that he had and I was still confused like he was nice to a dog so I was like well is he really that bad if he was kind to a dog a sick dog I don't know but I just don't know how I feel. I need to get further into this series before I guess I can be like, I hate them or I love them because I just, I'm confused. I was texting Teresa and I was like, I feel like this story is not what I'm thinking it is. Like, I feel like I'm thinking of it as one thing and then I'm gonna get halfway through the series and I'm gonna be like, what the hell is going on? This isn't even what I was expecting to happen. I don't even know what the story is anymore. And I, and I just need to accept it because I signed up to go on this ride, I guess. So yeah, those are all my thoughts. I gave it a four out of five stars because, uh, because it made me feel all these things and I have to give it props for at least doing that. So yeah. That is that. Moving on. The last book I finished in April was Famous in a Small Town by Emma Mills. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars and oh my gosh, this took me on a journey. I was not expecting this. Okay, so I read This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills and I liked it. But I gave it 4 out of 5 stars because I was like, oh, like I liked it and I enjoyed it, but it just... There was something missing from it, I think, for me. But this, like, this just took me on a whole nother level, I guess, if that makes sense. So it's about this girl who's spending the summer in her small town with her group of friends. And two things she kind of decides to do is befriend the new guy that just moved to town. And she decides to uh, make her it her mission to bring this pop star to her town in order to raise money so that her school marching band can go to the rose parade and the thing about the pop star is she's initially from that town and that's how she kind of got famous and the town kind of got famous because she wrote her first album about living in that town and everything like that so you initially go into the story thinking that's what this was is going to be about but then you get so much more depth so like you learn more about her friend group and you learn individually about each of these characters and as the story progresses you kind of just learn about all these they're not even secrets they're like intense deep things that you know really solidify who they are as people and so I really enjoyed that because like you really were spending time with these characters and seeing the funny moments but also seeing the hard moments and I loved that in this in this book this friend group like they weren't perfect like their friendships were hard like they had moments where they said mean things they had moments where they got into fights but in the long run they were still there for each other and they never gave up on each other and so I appreciated that because it showed that like friendship isn't always perfect but in the long run, if you're dedicated to it and you want to work on it and you recognize that you're all gonna fall short at some point, it can really be a beautiful thing. And so I really did love that about the story. And it it turned from like being about her finding this pop star to being her like kind of, I guess, figuring out who she wants to be in the long run and how she wants her 
friends to see her I guess and I don't know it was just it's intriguing I definitely recommend reading it because I don't want to spoil it so it's hard to explain but I definitely liked the depth to the story and again I wasn't expecting it and it made me feel so many things at moments I was like crying and I was like oh my gosh because I was learning things and I was like these things that I'm learning obviously make them who they are but like I don't know it's just I loved it that's all I can say. All right, so those are all the books I read and didn't read uh, in April. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please like it down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or anything else, please leave all of that down below. If you're not good at commenting, go ahead and leave me an emoji down below. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. <laughs>